So now let's talk about what, in fact, is our protocol now for managing the situation of going under the lenticule first and really converting what used to be considered to be a complication into just a routine second pathway to complete the lenticule separation. This technique was described to me by my colleague Glenn Karp, our co-author, and essentially here the concept is that, of course, we've already gone under the lenticule and this interface is separated. So we've realized now that we're under the lenticule, and the first thing to do is to insert the Tsinsky tip sideways tangentially along the border of the cap, and then to rotate the Tsinsky tip anteriorly. So it's a sort of rotational motion, anterior, tenting the cap up, and 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100 cases, you will catch the edge of the lenticule and be able to draw the Sinsky tip across and create a separation edge for the upper interface of the lenticule. So if we look here, this is a video demonstrating. This is Glenn demonstrating the technique. He's going to start off by opening the incision and actually deliberately going under the lenticule here. This is deliberately going under the lenticule just for the purposes of demonstrating that this isn't a complication separates the lower interface, and now inserting the Sinsky tip tangentially along the edge of the cap, and then rotating forward anteriorly so that the tip catches the edge of the lenticle. You can see here he is on the upper interface and now drawing across to pocket the space above the lenticle. And of course then we can carry on above and we do the same technique of shelling out the lenticle leaving a little bit attached and pulling against it, and then removing the lenticule.